Hello, all you walking, talking, miraculous miracles, uniquely created in the divine image. Welcome back to the Philosophy for Philistines channel, where I'm here to help you penetrate the impenetrable. Today, we're going to have a little chat about individuation as it relates to projecting your own inadequacies unto others and how our government is projecting their moral failures onto us and has developed some sort of collective Munchausen by proxy syndrome where they're treating us for ailments that are largely fabricated. So to begin, people are like icebergs. There is more to them below the surface than above. Only a naive fool believes that they truly understand themselves and know the motivations for their own actions, particularly when those actions involve controlling others or being controlled by others. If you think you know yourself and that you're not motivated by parts of you floating, floating below the surface of your conscious mind, just try telling yourself to do something that you know you ought to do, yet find unpalatable, then watch how often you will sabotage your own efforts because you do not understand your unconscious motivations. There is no other living creature so utterly bent on self-defeating destructive behavior. The behavior, behavior the motive for which the self-destructive themselves fail to comprehend. There can be no fleeing from our shadow. Rather, it must be confronted and incorporated or it will leash all man, unleash all manner of havoc onto ourselves and onto those around us. This is why an unexamined life is not worth living. It means the life you are living does not actually have the conscious you at its helm because you're being driven by subconscious forces that you are unwilling to confront. This is the reason for this present generation's prevalent cult of victimhood. We are witnessing an entire generation of psychologically crippled adults who have failed to individuate and consequently project their inadequacies onto others and then onto society at large. Why do I state these things? because the only source of my own victimization was me. We are our own worst enemy. I know I have been. And undoubtedly in many ways continue to be. You cannot be moral on someone else's behalf. Controlling others for their own good is invariably indicative of someone who has failed to incorporate themselves into a unified whole and therefore they are projecting their own moral inadequacies and failings onto others. And that isn't the path to heaven, because if you ignore your own shadow, it will descend into hell to bring back the devil. Our entire political elite are externalizing their own failings. Munchausen by proxy disorder on a massive scale as they treat us for illnesses they themselves are fabricating, fabricating or have created. So let's look at the characteristics, characteristics of Munchausen by proxy. Dramatic but inconsistent medical history. If that doesn't explain the last 19 months, I don't know what does. Unclear symptoms that are not controllable and they become more severe or change once treatment has begun. And this we see with the fact that people who, who have the double jab are now encouraged to get a third and perhaps other treatments and that it isn't controlling their, the rate of infection among the inoculated. Predictable relapses following improvement in this condition. How many times over the, uh, the last 19 months have they relaxed conditions only to come back stronger again? 
extensive knowledge of hospitals and or medical terminology, as well as the textbook description of illnesses. Even though they don't understand them, and they themselves aren't medical experts, they have deliberately manipulated the game by hiring medical people who are willing to go along with this mass Munchausen by proxy. Presence of multiple surgical scars. In this case, there is a presence of multiple scars on society writ large, where individuals who have been treated are showing no sign of improvement. Appearance of new or additional symptoms following negative test results. That speaks largely to this failed PCR test and its inadequacy or false positives from it. Presence of symptoms only when the patient is with others or being observed. Honestly, ask yourself, how many people do you know, statistically, that have been hospitalized due to COVID-19? Personally, I know none. Willingness or eagerness to have medical tests, operations, or other procedures. You cannot get out or into the country if you've been away for more than 72 hours without a PCR test. History of seeking treatment at numerous hospitals, clinics, and doctor's offices, possibly even in different cities. They have this treatment going on worldwide now. Our global leaders are ensuring that this burst of Munchausen is happening on a global scale. Reluctance by the patient to allow doctors to meet with or talk to family, friends, or prior doctors. So again, you see here that any doctor that dissents has scientific reason to dissent with a prevalently held opinion is brutally silenced, disenfranchised, and disappeared. Any platform for their voice has been removed under the COVID-19 pandemic. Problems with identity and self-esteem. Anyone who's constantly taking selfies of themselves is doing so because they lack any real self-awareness and self-confidence. I put the links to these articles below because of the fact that uh, the, one of the articles attached here indicates that Trudeau is not in the least bit interested in, in dealing with the needs of of Canadians. His whole effort at COP26 is to fulfill a global agenda that has nothing to do with the needs of the citizens of Canada. Looking at what matters most to so many, PM's climate zeal difficult to understand. Prime Minister Trudeau puts climate ambitions before the needs of Canadians. We need to stop projecting. We need to look within our, ourselves, me foremost, and examine our shadow because there's no running from your shadow. And Prime Minister Trudeau is certainly not going to run for him, from his, rather. Nevertheless, his shadow is casting an enormous shadow over this nation because we're being forced down a path that is not healthy, not good for the citizens of this nation, and has little to do with fighting climate change or fighting matters actually regarding mitigating the COVID-19 pandemic. First of all, they haven't asked where it came from, how it got here, and what Pfizer's relationship with the laboratory in Wuhan is. There are so many unanswered questions that people who refuse to examine themselves will not answer. And the dialogue is being completely controlled by them. That is why podcasts such as this one and many others 
are useful tools to helping you dear folks understand what's actually happening because I can assure you you won't hear any of these things in mainstream media you won't hear any actual criticism of the regime everything you're hearing is bought and paid for by the collective and on that note I also want you to observe this there are certain belief systems that are all about projecting in other words they cannot they cannot examine themselves for flaws in their own reasoning because the ideology which possesses them absolutely from bid forbids self-examination this is why they're externalizing the moral failings of the themselves onto others socialism relies on a constant state of victimhood and of course Munchausen by proxy relies on having victims to treat and on the, by the same token radical Islam has no ability to examine itself there is no ability for radical Islamists to look at themselves because everything is fatal fatalism in Islam they are not actually in control of their own life they they have this saying inshallah if God wills instead of realizing that we are all autonomous beings and that we have to become self competent fully actualized individuals they project their problems onto someone else it's your fault it's all about you I didn't do it